Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another exciting calculator tutorial video for you. Today I will tell you how to calculate limits on this FX 82MS scientific calculator very easily. We will be calculating the limits numerically. So our question is find out the limit of x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 at x equals to 2. If we have this fx and on ES calculator, you can directly form the expression on this calculator and calculate the value of expression for each particular value of x. However, that is not directly possible on this calculator. You can't form the expression, but you can find out the value of the limit by little practice or little modification. Now before we start the calculation, first we have to clear all the memories on this calculator so that our any previous value don't override with our present value. So to clear, press shift and this mode button. And now type 1 to clear memory, type 2 to clear mode and type 3 to clear all. So press 3 and press equals to button. So reset all. Now we we'll form this expression on the calculator numerically. So numerically means at x equals to 2 it will be 2 square that is x square minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2. So let's do it. Left parenthesis again left parenthesis 2 square minus 4 parenthesis score closed for the numerator or upper term divided by again parenthesis 2 minus 2 and parenthesis closed for the denominator or lo lower side and press equals to. So you will get a math error. So why are you getting a math error for x equals to 2? Because for x equals to 2 it will be 2 square that is 4 minus 4 that is 0 divided by 2 minus 2 is 0. So we can't divide any real number even 0 by 0 because any real number divided by 0 is undefined that is represented by this infinity symbol. Infinity is not a value but it's an idea. That means we can't divide any real number by 0 that is undefined. So as you can see we directly can't find out the value of limit for this expression at x equals to 2. So what you can do we can take two values for x they are called the boundary values or boundary for the limit. One value will be lower than the 2 which will be coming close to 2 and another value which is greater than 2 and again which will be coming close to 2. So basically we will take two values for x and we will sync the boundary values okay, to get close to 2 numerically 2. So by coming very close to 2, we can approximate the value for this limit at x equals to 2. We can't exactly find out the value at x equals to 2 because that is undefined but we can approximate the value by coming very close to 2. So let's do that. First we will calculate the left hand side limit. So we will start from 0 and we will increase the value to come very close to the 2 value. So now let's do it. The expression is already formed. You can use this expression. Just replace the value 2 with 0 because x is 0 now. And here we have constructed two columns. In the first column we will write all x values and in the second column we will write the value of the expression for x, that particular x value. So for x equals to 0 by replacing the 2's on the expression by 0 and press the equals to button. So you will get 2. So for x equals to 0 it will be 2. Now let's go to more closer to the 2. Increase the value by 1. Press the equals to button. So for x equals to 1 it will be 3. Now go to very close to 2. 
let us take the value 1.99. Now again you have to reform the expression because on this calculator if the width or magnitude of the value changes then you have to reform it. and press the equals to button. So for x equal to 1.99 the value of expression is 3.99 which is very close. So now we have come very close to 2. Now go to extremely close to 2 by taking 1.999 that is 7 nines. And let's find out the value of the limit. So again we have to reform the expression. So as you can see, if we go extremely close to 2, the value of the limit will be 4. So we can approximately say for the value 1.79, the value of the limit is 4, which is very close to 2. Again, next we will calculate the right hand side limit, where the value of x will start from a away from value from 2 and will go close to 2 by going 2.60 and 1 which is extremely close to 2 but this value is above 2 and this value are, is below 2. Again reform the expression start with this value and press the equals to button. So for x equal to 2.01 the limit value is 4.01. Now go to close very close to 2, 2.001. So as you can see if we go very close to 2 that is 2.001 the value of the limit is also coming clo close to 4. Now if we go to extremely close to 2 by taking the value 2.60 then 1 the value of the expression will be And as you can see on the upper side if the value is very very close to 2 that is 2.601 the value of the limit is exactly 4. So the value of the limit is 4 for two extremely close values up to 1 is below 2 and another is above 2. So since the left hand side limit and the right hand side limit both are equal to 4 for nearly equal value up to we can say or we can approximately say the value of this limit will be equal to 4 for x equal to 2. And another thing to remember if we draw the curve for this expression you can see for the value x below 2 and x above 2 there is a particular value of y but at x equals to 2 at that exact moment there is not any exact value of y that means there will be a hole on the graph that represents this value is undefined. Let me show you that now I will plot the graph on fx 986z2 calculator. So the expression is already formed on the calculator press the draw button. So this is drawn, this is the actual curve. As you can see, it is nearly a straight line as in here. And now you can see here is a hole on the graph. Let me trace the value.
as you can see for x value below 2 which is the minus value there is a particular value of y but at x equals to 2 the value of y is an error that means it is an undefined so as you can see here is a hole on the graph a small blank space that represents this value is undefined so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below if you like the video please like share and comment on the video and subscribe to my youtube channel your positive likes and comment really encourage me to make more quality videos and you will be glad to know i have uploaded more than 55 videos on the fx 82 ms fx nano on es and fx 9860z2 graphing calculator to how to use the calculators to do maths easily if you want to watch any of our previous videos link to all of them is given in the video description below so check them out so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing